Welcome back guys, welcome to another video tutorial from Shomo's Biology and in this video lecture I will be talking about chromosome, chromatid and chromatin and DNA. So what are all these things, you know these names are a little bit confusing sometimes people don't understand it fully but they try to do a lot of stuff. I, I, I know very many students who don't have a clear idea of all these four things but still they want to study and uh, they're, they're doing their BSCs and MSCs and stuff. So in a quick review about what, what all those things mean. Now first things first, chromatin, let me explain that, let me break it down in, in fractions and explain. So first thing is chromatin, chromatin if I divide it in two parts it will be DNA plus protein, okay. Now the protein we are talking about here is histone, okay, histone is a DNA binding protein, okay. And histone is not again made with one subunit, it is made with two, four different subunits repeated twice every subunit. So ultimately eight subunits and it is known as octamer, histone octamer, okay. And this histone octamer is taken and DNA is wrapped around this histone octamer. And we all know what DNA is, the blueprint of life, every information is placed there. And you know in eukaryotic cell, we have all these things, chromosome, chromatid and stuff. In prokaryotes, however, we only have DNA as the genetic material in the cytosol. But in eukaryotes, we have a separate room, we have a complete separate room allotted for the chromosome to be placed, where the DNA resides. So when DNA is wrapped around histones, we form chromatin and such chromatin is kind of, it is, it is uncondensed form, it is like a beads on a string like structure. How it looks? Let me draw the structure here, let us say this is the DNA and chromatin, DNA and, so this is how this order, this is, these are the structures, let me highlight it with different color, these are the histone octamers at the middle and this black thread like thing is the DNA. So they are arranged like this. This is known as the chromatin and chromatin is the way to organize DNA because you know there are a lot of informations in eukaryote compared to the prokaryotes. Prokaryotes only have the genes coding for proteins but in eukaryotes we have two types of gene. Some gene code for proteins and some do not, right. In the RNA that we produce in eukaryotes, it carries introns and exons. Exons are the section of the RNA that codes for proteins while introns do not. So we have a lot of junk material. So the DNA content of eukaryote is huge and the only way to place it properly in small tiny nucleus is to properly coil it and condense it. So once we coil it and wrap it around histone, we call it a chromatin. But chromatin is not the pure condensed form, it is semi-condensed. Now chromatin is the structure of DNA, how it is present throughout the time uh, inside the cell, normal cell. And we cannot visualize chromatin with microscope normally, it is not very easy to visualize it properly. Now what happens, during the time of cell division, this chromatin condenses further and those further condensed form of chromatin is known as chromosome. Okay, so this chromatin will further condense because it will, this beads on a string model slowly start to arrange in much complicated fashion. It start arranging themselves something like this. See? Something like this. This is much condensed. You see, these are, these are the histones. Again, I am drawing. And there are so many other proteins known as scaffolding proteins which help this DNA to be properly anchored with each other and they form very thick structures, very condensed and thick structure. This is known as chromosome. But we can only see that during cell division. In the time of prophase, in the beginning of the cell division, this chromatin slowly start to condense and form chromosome and chromosome is easy to be stained 
and we can visualize this chromosome under a light microscope. So whatever thing you see during the cell division plates, it is formed during the process of cell division. We can see that in the, under the microscope. Now, now we have an idea of chromatin and chromosome because in cell division, we need to, to replicate the genetic content that is DNA. We want to replicate DNA. So once we replicate the DNA, we make two different copies of the DNA because we need to spread two different copies in two daughter organs, two daughter cells so that the cell receives the same content. That is the idea of mitotic cell division because in mitosis, identical cells will generate from the mother cell. And the only way to do this is replicate the DNA, spread it to the daughter cell. So what happens here, they made this condensed so that it will be easy to be replicated and slowly separate them. Okay? Now in this case, during the replication, let us say this DNA is now replicated in that form. After the replication, what happens, I am telling you, at the very beginning without the replication, we have the chromosome and chromosome is condensed. This is the structure, let us say, of the chromosome, condensed format. We see in the prophase. Now it is replicated. After the replication, two copies are generated. Two copies of the chromosomes will be generated, but those copies will remain attached in the centromere. they will remain attached in the centromere region. They are not separated after the replication. Okay? The separation will take place in anaphase. Remember, in anaphase, microtubules will be attached from both the ends and they will separate the two identical chromosomes. Now, at that point, when the chromosome is already replicated, all of this two identical chromosomes known as chromatid, then it will be known as chromatid. That is the idea. So, chromatid is nothing but the dot sister chromosomes that are present there. Okay? Now, the chromatids here, as they are linked with each other and they are replicated form of self, we known as a sister chromatids. Okay? Now, there are other chromatid pairs as well. So, let us say, let, let me take another pair say such as we have another pair of chromatid here. So, if you take this chromatid here and this chromatid here and these two chromatids are not originated from the same type. So, they are non-sister chromatid. But when two chromatids are linked with each other and originated from one specific type of DNA replications known as sister chromatids. So, chromatid is nothing but chromosomes, but when it is replicated, then we will call it as a chromatid. Okay? Now, remember during the process of replication or even in process of transcription if required in different stages, we need to access this DNA. Now, one question should come in your mind is that this DNA is tightly wrapped around histones. So, how could we get some part of the DNA sequence for the transcription and production of proteins? Now, answer for that is chromatin remodeling. It is not necessarily that DNA is always wrapped around chromatins there. Uh, it, DNA is always wrapped, wrapped around histones there. The idea is when we require, let us say a gene is present here. This is the area of the gene we want to e express. In that condition, but it is properly tied and wrapped around histone, we can remodel this chromatin complex. What? We can simply unwind the DNA from histone here, so we get the access to that area. Let us say this is the unwinding and this is the area of the gene that we want to transcribe. We have the access to that area where the histone will be removed, then we use that area to transcribe and produce mRNA. This is known as chromatin remodeling. There are other things known as chromatin modifications, so many different types of histone modifications that will allow ultimately to change an accessibility of the DNA and that actually controls the expression of genes in eukaryotic cells. So in eukaryotic cells there are several different room or rounds of expression, control of expression. This is one type of 
primary level controls that is always present there okay so that in a sense are about chromatin chromatid dna and chromosome i hope you understand now and your confusion is gone so if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and definitely subscribe to my channel to get this interesting videos for you thank you